What? What is this? <laughs> she's so fast, she's so gross, she will never find love. The only one who can love this woman is a good lord. Up above, I'm out of the same. She will never change, she will always do the same. Fake and insane. Then it's scary, you he don't care. Hello, little gherkins. Well, Ramadan Raging Ralfetta went live at roughly 1 a.m. and lost her mind because Yo Mama had the audacity to criticize her. This is going to be a long one, so I'll try to limit my commentary. To me, the point of these videos is to give you as quick of a recap as I can, and if I'm making the video an hour and a half long, it kind of defeats the purpose. So, with all of that being said, let's get into it. Anyways, I was listening to um, Yo Mama's stream while doing dishes, and he was talking about me, and it's complete BS, so I want to, like, clarify and prove some things. So, I want to um, do a bit of reaction to this stream. There's not going to be any ranting and raving, okay? It's going to be just addressing, so there we go. Um, all right, so I want to watch part of the stream where he addresses me, and I want to defend myself and show receipts, okay? Because I'm being accused of being a liar, and I have receipts, so it's quite easy to debunk. They asked for receipts, I'll show them. So just to preface, um, I was listening to another stream. Well, I like to listen to streams when I do chores, and you know, I have to like get out of that habit of listening to these negative things because they really just do no, like, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you guys do that, listen to streams while you're doing mundane things as background noise. I probably should be listening to something more positive, but it's whatever, old habits are hard to break sometimes, okay? So I was listening to a stream from Original Owl and it was about Scamantha or whatever. We'll call her Samantha because, you know, whatever. So anyway, um, she was saying the most vile, these these two, her and, and Yaba have been bullying people online. They have a fatty podcast. They're just the most vile people on the internet, okay? And they hit a new low when they were making fun of Gaining Ground's mother with dementia. So she was saying things on her stream like uh, like her, his mother has dementia. So he was calling her and him a pickle brain, how it's disgusting, like that she, you know, soils herself and he has to clean it. She was just really going very low. And she was saying that she, her reasoning for doing this, this is where my comment is coming up. The reason for doing this is the fact that she, um, that apparently Gaining Ground, she says, came for her kids and talked about her kids. Number one, number one, Samantha herself is the one who's bragged about her kids working in a brothel. OK, she's the one who brought that tea on the Internet. Nobody else has talked about her kids or brought up her kids more than Samantha herself. All right, yo mama. So when you're accusing me of going low and bringing up her kids, get it right. Number two, her kids are not kids. They're adults. So if you reach a certain point of maturity and you're and you were brought up on the Internet. Yeah, we have a right to discuss that. OK, okay Chantal, I want you to remember that I want you, the woman who shared with the entire Internet that her sister has a mental disability, that their dad is a deadbeat drunk that their team mom sent her kid away to a group home, and every other personal thing you've shared about your family, I want you to remember that. According to you, as long as those people are adults, even if they did not consent to their information being shared on the internet, they are fair game. That's what you just declared. Okay, it's not like her kids are little toddlers walking around, all right? These are adult children that she brought up herself, all right? So get that right as well before you come for me and call me disgusting and going low. Number three, after what I heard, it was very hard for me not to be reactive and lash out and have an opinion on it. So yeah, maybe it makes it worse, but you don't realize that I don't care what these two say. They reveal themselves to be low themselves. I don't care. They can continue to talk about me all they want, whatever. I don't come on here crying. I just come and say, oh no, they're talking about me. My feelings are hurt. No, you'll never catch me doing that. I point out the hypocrisy just like you. That's all I do. When I when I defend myself, that's all I do. I point out the hypocrisy. I don't care if they continue to talk about me. I'm not going to silence myself when I have something to say. You know, you don't know how you would react if you had all these channels coming for you and bullying and harassing you every day for years. Okay, thank you. Question, what does any of this have to do with you inserting yourself into drama that had absolutely nothing to do with you? All right, so let's get to this. So I left a comment in Original Owl's channel. Um, yeah, so basically when I said prostitute daughter, I wasn't shaming her daughter for being a prostitute. That's not what I was doing. I was saying that because Sam was comparing, she, she was excusing her behavior towards making fun of a woman with dementia and soiling herself because Gigi was mentioning that her children were prostitutes. So I was saying it's not the same. Making fun of an elderly person versus your prostitute adult daughters is not the same. Exactly. That's all I was saying. All right. So let's get started. I saw this in Al stream also. Okay. Al stream last night talking about the disgusting things that Sam was saying about Gigi's mother, who is got dementia. And Sam wanted to call her pickle brain, shit on herself, and all kind of disgusting things that she was saying about Gigi's mother. It was just utterly nasty. And exactly. Sam huh, deleted the video, said that she accidentally deleted it. <laughs> okay. Oh. And honestly, 
No, uh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't um, be so reactive, and I'm working on that, but it's hard sometimes. And you know what? I was defending Gaining Ground because he's always been a light... He reacted to me in the past. My problem is not reacting to me. Like, he was always lighthearted about it, and he's always been nice to me, and he doesn't deserve that kind of uh, mental abuse. And it's a pattern of behavior for these two, Gabba and Sam, and I was really just, like, fed up with it, and what I heard, it was disgusting. Okie dokie. But <clears throat> Al was reporting on it, and Foodie Beauty joined the chat. Susan, her children are not children, Susan. And yes, they were on YouTube. She brought them on YouTube. She talked about them. So you guys want to come for me and say, we're allowed to come for your pets because you bring them on YouTube. Well, guess what, Susan? We're allowed to talk about what she talks about on YouTube as well. And she herself said that her adult, adult, they're not children, okay? Adult daughter worked in a brothel and she bragged about it. Adult, okay? Not children. She is going to really try to drive this point home throughout this video that Sam's kids are adults. They are still her children. I guess in Chantal's mind, once kids turn 18, they are no longer the parents' children. And she said this. She said, making fun of an elderly person versus your prostitute adult exactly. adult daughter is not the same. Yep. It's not. What's your point? Foodie Beauty, when are you going to stop? Stop what? Defending myself? That's a real honest question. See, you're not helping. Helping what? You know, when everyone talks about making this space a better place, right? And then when people talk about how they pile on you and they talk shit about you, and then when people... They're never going to stop. That's when you don't get it. I'm allowed to have my opinion on something. What, why should I silence myself just because um, I'm afraid, like what? I'm not afraid of them to talk about me. Keep going. I don't care. She doesn't care what people say about her, but we'll see her extensive reporting history shortly. They, hey, you know, you don't need to pile. Why you guys talk so much shit about this person so much? Hi, and God. then you turn around and talk about somebody's child being a prostitute and you think it's helping in some sort of way when it's utterly disgusting. You're the problem. You go around and you talk about... Listen. Oh yeah, I'm the problem because I pop up once in a chat, once or twice, and give my opinion on something and defend somebody and have a stance on something? Okay, but everyone else can talk all day long in this community. Don't act like, uh, like including you. Including you. Like, what? We already know Sam and Yaba is disgusting. We already know that. I can talk about Sam and Yaba. I can drag Sam and Yaba, and I don't even need to use their children. I don't need- They're not children, sir. They're adults. They're adults. And you have brought up, yep, some, I think it was Yaba, you have brought up their parenting. I think it was, no, it was um, Breezy. So don't, don't even go there. To point out a prostitute and this and that. What does her kids got to do with her disgusting actions? Her kids. Because her adult, it's not kids, her adult daughter, she was brought up online, again, by her own mother. There were story times about this. Go look it up. Why can't Chantal understand that the point he's making is that they are both wrong? One thing Chantal will never understand is two wrongs don't make a right. Coming online, disrespecting you or disrespecting Gigi or anybody. Reach. What a dumb reach to come for me for this. Anyway. So the fact that you want to go into somebody's stream. I think she just looks for things periodically. See, I'm not a foodie beauty stan. I call her out on her BS. But what you call me out on is BS. It's so ridiculous. And talk about their kids being prostitutes. Why would you do that? Because she did. She, just in this stream, you didn't listen. In this stream, she was saying she was coming for Gigi because Gigi talked about her kids being prostitutes. So I was comparing that that's not the same as making fun of a helpless elderly person with dementia. Being a prostitute, those are willful actions of her adult daughter. It's not the same. This elderly person who has dementia didn't choose that, and she's picking on someone weak and innocent like that. Obviously, it hit a nerve with her, okay? Because, like, honestly, like, you totally took it way out of context, just like every other reaction channel. You claim to be so beside yourself about Sam's comments that you just absolutely had to jump into some drama that had nothing to do with you to defend GG. But yet in that same chat, you said someone had wet brain. You commented on their parenting like usual, and you said one day Sam's kids will have to wipe her ass, Quit rolling around in the mud and then pretending you're somehow better than the same people that are in the mud with you. Why would you, why would you give them a reason to come back today? Because that's what you did. You gave Sam a reason to go, hey, see, see what I'm talking about? I, uh, yeah, I'm talking about a Durant. I'm talking about an elderly woman that's shitting on herself, that pickle brain. But look at what they're saying about my child. It's not a child. It's an adult. An adult being a prostitute is not the same. There's nothing. Mo one thing is about morals. The other thing is about an illness that they can't help. Don't you see the comparison? Chantal. Do you really want to talk about the morality of sex work when you have done only fans and have repeatedly flashed your molding fat mound and torpedo titties all over YouTube for free? <laughs> and I'm not even coming for her for being a quote unquote prostitute. I don't give a, I don't care. But I'm saying it's not the same thing. And her kids are not children. They are a grown adults, which makes it fair game, in my opinion, because she brought them on the Internet. So we have a right to react to that. Isn't that so? And I don't care. They're always going to find something else to talk about. It doesn't matter. Now she has something to talk about. Whatever. This comment I made is nothing in comparison to what she said about Gigi's mother. So it's not the same whatsoever. For someone that absolutely hates drama and goral world and everything you claim is disgusting and vile, you sure do know absolutely everything about it and are willing to throw yourself into the middle of it. You don't. You're not helping. <clears throat> you're hurting. Dale Orth, why are you here then listening to it? If it's such a bother for you and it's, you know, you want to come in here and virtue signal, don't watch it. Right. 
You're giving them a reason to do what they're doing. No, 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 and no. And then no, you're no. giving people- You're gonna blame me for them reacting that way and coming up with vile stuff? What? I don't think so. This has nothing to do with me. I'm allowed to leave a comment. How they react and how they act is on them, not me. They should Just because I leave a comment like this? No, they don't, it doesn't mean to give them a right to go back and be nasty again. No, that's on them. Reason to talk shit about you. Because- I don't care if they talk crap about me. I don't care. The only thing I talk about when I rage, whatever you want to call it, when I react and defend myself, it's about pointing out hypocrisies and lies. That's it. I, my feelings are not hurt, trust me. Look at how you talk. That's disgusting, talking about somebody's child being a prostitute. What? She talked about it herself. So go take your virtual signaling and you know what you can do with it. Ugh. Yeah, shove your virtual signaling up your ass. It's definitely absolutely not virtue. It's definitely virtual. You couldn't have just it's left so it weird. at- Sometimes you're like on game and I like, what he says is makes sense, but sometimes it's just so far out, like no. Making fun of an elderly person is bad? You couldn't leave it like that? You yeah, can't- I can say what I want, everyone else, you know? Anyway. I feel like that! No one's opinion is wrong, some things are facts, Henry. Sam is the one who came online and talked about her daughter working in a brothel. It's not kids, she's an adult. And if her mother brought her on the internet to talk about it, you know, and I was using it in the context of the whole situation that they were talking about. I wasn't saying, oh, your daughter's a disgusting prostitute or something like this. I wasn't making fun of her daughter. He took it way out of context, way out. But instead you had to go down the line and call her child a prostitute. What? <laughs> You're such a liar. You're, that's a bold faced lie. Like I just said, she did it. She talked about her daughters, not me, okay? It's literally on the screen, like, it's right there, we can see it. Oh my gosh. Disgusting. Disgusting. You're disgusting. You're a liar. <sighs> yeah, exactly, SVP. Oh, be the bigger person. Meanwhile, everyone else can have a whole community around me saying whatever they want. And the one time I address something because somebody's saying lies on me, oh, I'm disgusting. All right, yeah, sure. And another, and, and, and the whole thing about it. <clears throat> oh, thank you very much. BS, BS. Where in that comment did I call her daughter a dis a pros make fun of her for being a prostitute? Sam is the one who brought that up. Again, let, just so you can get it through your head and you can use this your next time you react. Sam talked about her daughter working in a brothel and, bro and bragged about it. So why is she now making a big deal saying we're coming for her kids? Whenever you become an adult, all right, when you hit, when you reach an adult, you know, you're not a kid anymore. So no one's coming for anyone's kids. Give me a break, but it's okay for you to come for Breezy's parenting. Okay. The woman who has routinely brought up parenting every time someone says something about her is using bringing up parenting as a way to say someone else is bad. Let that sink in. She stopped herself from doing that. Now, an older Al or an older person out here on these YouTube streets that are, that's very nasty would have said tit for tat, but she stopped herself. And you got to give credit. It's, it's, it's nasty to even think about doing that, but the fact that she stopped herself from doing that is a good thing. Because why are we bringing kids into yeah. this? If you got a problem with somebody doing something disgusting, address that person. You don't need to call their kids prostitutes and criminals and all that other stuff. She called her daughter a prostitute. She did. Stuff like that. Same thing with, with Gigi. We already know. You're the only one making a derogatory term about being a prostitute. I didn't say anything about it. Being a prostitute means you uh, have a job selling yourself for money. Like, that's what you do, okay? So, whatever. Like, that's whatever. I don't care what she does with her life. Whatever. I'm not shaming her for that. You're missing the entire point. The entire point is she's saying, she's justifying calling Gigi's mom pickle brain and picking on a dementia woman, elderly dementia woman. Can you imagine? Disgusting. Saying she craps herself and it goes up her back just like a baby. Saying all these nasty things and using that, saying that somebody called her daughter a prostitute when she's the one who came online and talked about her daughter's career. All right, so she bragged about it. And I'm telling you again, don't ever say that I came for someone's kids because it's an adult that was brought online by her own mother. So I'm talking about the situation and using it as a comparison. So get it right before you come for me. Thank you. I already knew Sam was disgusting. I already knew Yaba was disgusting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I pointed out how disgusting those two were without having to drag any of the any people in their family Sheena, members. right? Imagine hearing that. My grandma has Latimer's and I would heck a snap. Yeah, yeah. All the channels call her mother a H all the time. Why bringing her into it? Like a, what? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. But, um... Oh, yeah, right, Rest Close? He is full of crap. <laughs> he is full of crap. This is full of crap. I'm sorry, but, like, um, I snapped when I heard that because, like, I don't know. I guess I have a big mouth and I can't help it, and I guess I'm just going to have to take the heat for it for the rest of my life. Oh, well, people are going to talk about me no matter what. Whatever. Just like you said, they bring attention to my channel. That's how I'm looking at it from now on. Thank you for helping me reach my check mark and my plaque on the way. Oh, we'll get into that YouTube plaque in the next video. You're, you're, the, you're the beacon of morality in this community, right? You can't say anything wrong. And she died. It was fake and all this. Stuff. I was hot. And... I and I could have, I could explode it and attack their family and attack their children and did all this weird, but I didn't. I calmed down, I attacked those two for being disgusting, and I left it as is. But see, if I would have went there yeah, and saw what they did to little mama and started talking about they, they, their kids, guess what they would have did? They would have started talking about my kids. Then I would have started- Yeah, your kid is a kid. Sam's is not. Okay? She worked in a brothel. She's an adult. She's an adult. You know, the one post on social media, it's everyone's right to comment. The difference between a victim who has dementia and an adult making a choice to prostitute is immense. There is no comparison. Exactly. And I mean, do what you got to do. I don't, I'm not going to hate on anyone for whatever. I'm just saying I have my own opinion on it, but I'm going to keep that to myself. And I'm just, I was using that as a comparison. Like, how dare you when you like go for GG over that when you're the one who came on and talked about your kids first, your adult children. 
adult daughter, whatever. Adult children's an oxymoron, but whatever. I talk about their kids. Then we would have been talking, bringing all these people into it that don't need to be brought into it. See, I want to keep the, I keep my dragon right there. Yeah, you keep your dragon right there. What about your brain cells? Like she brought her own daughter online. So exactly what Italian said. We have a right to talk about it. Yeah. I hope everyone will have all of these clips bookmarked and ready to go for the next time Chantal loses her mind because someone calls her mother a name. We know what we know about her mother because Chantal herself told us about it. So according to Chantal, we have every right to say anything we want about her or anyone else she's talked about on her channel. Baba and Sam, that's it. That's it. You guys are disgusting. I don't know if anybody outside the family know what kind of shit you get into. You two are disgusting. I don't care what, what your kids did in the past or what their actions were or whatever. I think she mentioned her son not paying rent for six months. That's about it. But she mentioned that. She talked so about her, they didn't pay rent and they went to court and they didn't want to pay the landlord. Chantal, you've showed major restraint against the reaction channels. They rip you apart. Your mama is full of crap here. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And his whole chat just, oh, yeah, like looking for any reason to turn on me and be like, oh, yeah, sure. Like, yeah, you're right. Uh. Nobody thinks for themselves. Like, that's one thing I will never do is like follow a sheep mentality. And you know what? If people hate me because I have an opinion, but they can talk about me for three years and thousands of videos making up lies and once or twice or a few times I come out and I address it. Tough. So then stay mad, baby. I don't care. Chantal, you respond at least once per week. And all that stuff like that. But I didn't harp on that. I harped on Sam's actions. Because that's the person that comes on the internet and is disgusting. And you know what Sam's actions include, yo mama? Her talking about her daughter working in a brothel, okay? It was brought online, yeah. This th People just, like, they, they look for those buzzwords. Don't talk about nobody's kids. Don't talk about nobody's kids. When, listen, nobody's talking about anyone's kids. Sometimes I talk about their parenting, okay? That doesn't mean you're attacking their children, all right? Just like talking about the gun laws in the U.S. doesn't mean you're attacking, attacking the victims of the shooting. Just like when you talk about somebody's daughter being a prostitute when they brought it online, that's not attacking her, all right? So get it right and don't get it twisted because that's what you do a lot. Isn't it funny how Chantal praises Yo Mama, says he's the most unbiased channel, watches him, and approves of absolutely everything he says about everyone else, except when he talks about her. As far as I know, Yo Mama has really called Chantal out twice. And both times, she has had an absolute meltdown. It's almost like she only likes him and agrees with him when he talks about the people she hates. Not their kids, not their family. And for Foodie Beauty to come into some... Do you know how many times people come for my family? And I never, ever, name me one time I've ever, like, come for their family the way they come for mine. Never, never. Somebody's chat and stir this shit up to get em empower them to get nastier. It's crazy. I wasn't empowering them to get nastier. They were already talking about it. I came in and gave my op uh, my uh, opinion. Don't even come there. You stir the pot every day. You talk about these things. You talk about drama every time you go live. Crazy. And the fact that Foodie Beauty came into that chat and she said this and then she turned around. I've never insulted the kids, just the horrible parenting. Exactly, West Coast. Exactly. I've never, ever, ever, nor would I ever talk about their children. Give me a break. You know, I, and when I insult parenting, it's because like I can't imagine like an, a grown adult like in charge of raising somebody and their morality and shaping their morality you're supposed to teach like when i remember when i was a kid like you know our parents do what we can but we still learn from influences we still we still are bullies i'm not saying i was never um you know never called anyone a name obviously i have as a kid but your parents are supposed to be there like what are their parents doing when they hear some their child go you're fat what do they do what do they do do they, they turn around and say and scold their kid and say now now you have to be tolerant of all body sizes making fun of someone for being fat is not right that's what they're supposed to do as a parent but then they go when they put their kids on the bus after being a good parent and they go online and they start up a fatty podcast and fat shame the same two women for years what do you what what, what kind of person are you please i'm really tired of bald baron belinda telling us how we should and should not raise our children worry about doing the bare minimum for your pets before you give your input on parenting chantal and what's really crazy is she i've noticed foodie beauty been doing this a lot too what are you watching everything i'm doing or what she'll go into a chat and she says guys i've been striking all these disgusting yeah, people yeah here we go here i've we been go. i've been i've been i've been i've been striking all of them mm -hmm. every day that's mm -hmm. what she said those are just words to me now me personally i don't think she should strike anybody i don't i don't really believe in striking because i don't strike anybody and you know let the reaction channel Sam or Ham, they watch me way more than I watch them. So maybe, have you noticed that maybe they should watch me less? Maybe they're using my vocabulary? I don't know. Be the reaction channels. But I'm tired of all the bullshit. Here, chat, you see what I'm doing right here, Sophie? I'm going at Foodie Beauty for her actions. Oh, I'm see, not going see, at he has to, ch see, he's using this, he's using this as an example of how he's better than all the other reactors because he's going for my actions. He's calling me out. He's, he's hitting the hammer. He's going after my actions. Please get a life. Get off your high horse. For Foodie Beauty for what she's wearing and who she's praying to. I'm going on her behavior. I'm going on my behavior for defending somebody Defending somebody who whose mother was attacked? Okay, sure. The very thing that all these reaction channels say that they attack Foodie Beauty on, her behavior. That's what I'm going at. No, you're doing exactly what they do. You're going after something stupid and petty and you're taking it out of context like they do to make me look like a villain. Where did I make fun of her daughter for being a prostitute? Where? I said elderly woman with dementia versus an adult daughter prostitute. The two situations are not the same. Okay, you took it way out of context. Now, hold on. 
Hurry up, I want to show my receipts. I want you to do something for me, Foodie right. Beauty. Sure, you got because it. you've been going to everybody's chat. Mm -hmm. You've been saying the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. I want you to prove it to me. Mm -hmm. You say that I strike down these disgusting channels every single day, mm -hmm. and YouTube's not doing anything about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, we're tired of the words. We want to see this. Next time you go live, next time you go live, you always proving something to somebody. Next time you go live, show us this. You see this? This is my channel right here. When I say I never strike, I don't strike a. Cha I never strike channels. Okay. I keep it real. When I say I never strike channels. I keep it real. You keep it real Show okay. us your removal request. Okay. Huh? Coming up. Wait you say you strike them every day. Mm -hmm. Well, if you strike them every day, your removal request would be crazy, right? So are you coming after me for striking people? Do you know why the um, community striking system exists, yo mama? Let me educate you. Bullying and harassment and hate, it's, it's allowed to be reported, okay? You're not me. You're not in my shoes. You don't have thousands. You don't have thousands of videos made about you attacking you, your religion, your weight every single day, your family. So, in my opinion, if I want to strike channels for bullying and harassment, I have a right to do that. All right. So you can think what you want about that. Oh, it's wrong. It's wrong. So you're basically condoning the very thing that you're talking about. What are you even talking about? This is not a business. I'm a human being, and you don't know how it affects my my mental health. You don't know how it affects me. Okay. Like it doesn't really like like I said, it doesn't hurt my feelings. But I'm just saying you don't know that. You don't know how I feel. Truly feel inside. You don't know why I strike these people. You know, like I, to me. In principle alone, I don't feel that YouTube should platform hate. I don't think that they should. I think it's ridiculous the amount of hate that they allow slide. You know, all of the, the disgusting things that go on. I'm sorry, but it's my prerogative. Sorry, but not sorry. Which one is it, Chantal? Is it the most awful bullying and harassment, or does it not bother you at all? I'll also just throw out there that if YouTube cracked down on removing channels that participate in these things, your channel would be on the chopping block too. Do you think YouTube would take the time to cross-reference streams to determine whether everything you've said about people was just in your own defense? Or would they take the words on your specific videos at face value and see that you've used the Nazi salute, said refugees should be hung, talked about women's bodies, talked about a woman with alopecia wigs being ugly, or any of the other things you've personally said about those that criticize you? I don't believe you strike anybody. Oh, okay, so you're being just like the reaction channels now. You have no proof of this whatsoever. You come for the other reaction channel saying they're just making claims out of their butt. They have no proof for that. Where's your proof that I don't? Where's your proof that I don't? I believe you leave it up there. And I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, me personally. Yeah, because I love it. I love people harassing me and coming real life and, and talking about me and taking views from me and harassing me and bullying me. I love it, yo mama. I believe you shouldn't strike anybody, right? Oh, right, I think okay. it's safe. Yeah, because you're selfish, because you want the content. If they got taken down, what would you talk about, right? Do what you want to do. But don't sit here and lie to us and tell oh, us. Calling me a liar with no proof. Again, just like you accuse the reaction channels of doing. Nice. That you strike all these channels every day. That's a lie. Because right. if you did, okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. they would come down. <laughs> because they would come down. Okay, so this stream, I'm going to show you my report history. All right. The next stream I do, because I have emails pleading and talking to um, user support from YouTube. And I'm also going to show you the email from my manager since no one believes that. But I'm going to like, how do I do that now? I guess I could take, I have to look through my emails for all the emails I sent. That's why it will take time. So I'll do it on another stream. I've messaged them so many times, so many times, and, and brought up the fact that how do you allow this person, these people to be online when it's violating terms of service to attack one person or use one person's content for a whole channel for thousands of videos. So I'll show you those emails, number one. Number two, here's my report history. No, I don't report every single day. That was an exaggeration, but I've reported many videos and I'll show you that, okay? I don't have to prove anything to you, but I will, all right? Just because you're the liar here, not me. And the fact that you're, you're saying I'm a liar with no proof, you're disgusting. You want to call me disgusting? You're disgusting, all right? So yeah, I'll show you that right now. And just, just so you know, I, the reason I don't report every day and I don't go online and spend a lot of my time because I'm not supposed to be focusing on this stuff and I always get sucked back in. I allow myself to get sucked back in. Sure. But who wants to go to these channels and go through their streams and listen to hours of abuse just so you can report them? Who wants to do that? Who wants to put yourself in that negative headspace? Not me. So no, that's why I don't report them every single day. I don't go searching for their channels every single day. But whenever I see something come up on recommended, you better, you better be sure I report it. And yes, I do go after FFG and report her. And YouTube does not care about their creators. They don't care about the mental well-being of their creators. They don't care. And here's proof of it. All right. So you can be quiet and let's see how you, are you going to apologize to me now when I show you the proof that I report them? All right, let's see. Okay, so I have no idea. Like, I tried to do the browser source, but it wasn't giving me the... I, oh, by the way, I blocked Scissor Sister because you obviously support the haters, so goodbye. I didn't say which time I was going to show receipts, so yeah, be patient or just get out of here. So this is basically um, just a screen... I had a screenshot on my laptop because I had Absalom help me. Because when I... So what I'll do next time I go live, if that's not good enough for you guys, if you think they're doctored, whatever, my picture's in the right corner. It's impossible to doctor, but... I'm going to go on the other phone and I'm going to show you guys the emails that I reported these people and reported them personally. And they, all they tell me is, I understand that is, they even say verbatim, yes, this is showing hate. So that proves that YouTube acknowledges my complaint that these channels do show hate. Okay. That acknowledges that. 
And they still just say at the end, well, we're just going to leave it. All you can do is report it and wait. That's all they say. So this is just a screenshot of many. There's so many. So next time I'll use my other phone, just like I did to show the Kibla direction. And I will also, by the way, on the app, show you that it's set to Kuwait. Okay. So you can just get a life on that. But I'm also going to show you, I'm going to scroll through all the reports and I'm going to show you the emails. All right. But here's just some screenshots to show you that my reporting system is not bare. Okay. So this is one page and this is another French fried girl, whole bunch of image, abusive, hateful or abusive, hateful or abusive. Okay. So yeah. Okay, so there's a couple of things to point out with these reports she's showing. They are all image or title reports, which means she is reporting the title of the video and or the thumbnail. Unless the title has a word that's not allowed or the thumbnail shows something graphic, they aren't going to do anything with these reports. The people who handle the YouTube reporting system have no clue what Mary Ham means. They have no clue what the context is of her face in a thumbnail. Second, they are never going to watch the entire video. If you're reporting thumbnails and titles, they're going to look at those and keep it pushing. The best reporting practices are from an actual computer, not your phone, and with actual timestamps within the video. I don't know if she's done that on any other videos, but these reports she's showing here are basically useless. It is very hard to get content or channels removed from YouTube, but it's also partly Chantal's fault for reporting in the absolute laziest way possible. And finally, I find it very interesting that on February 26th, Nader went live, and his thumbnail was Chantal's bare ass. She acknowledged this on her own channel within a day or two of it happening, yet she didn't report it. Why is that Chantal? And I don't care if you think it's wrong for me to report these people for hate, hatred and bullying. When you yourself, your mama, just said there's no way if you're reporting they would take it down because it's against terms of service to talk about one person and target one person. So if you're acknowledging that it is a violation, then why don't I have the right to report it? Just so you can keep getting views on reacting to these morons? Sorry. You're not me. You don't walk in my shoes. All right? So I do report them. Booyah. What are you going to do? I'm a liar? No, I'm not. That's the problem with that community. Every time I prove myself not a liar, there's some kind of twist on it. Well, she sent her compass to Canada. Why would I do that? Why? Why would I purposely mess with my phone? Just so I can purposely pray in the wrong direction. Have people said she's intentionally praying in the wrong direction? Or that she's praying in the wrong direction because she's stupid? I'd assume the latter. People of sheep mentality have zero brain cells. They have all collectively the same brain. And that's the problem. That's what frustrates me. And that's what I talk about. And I'm not going to silence myself. Okay. I'm not going to silence myself. If I have something to say and I want to say it, I'll say it. That's it. And you can absolutely do that. But you also can't complain when people comment on the things you say. Do you see how this works? See, she's doing a good job. Like, maybe keep your lips closed. I don't report anyone. I just ignore and don't watch them anymore. Well, like, unless you guys are in my shoes, you don't know what you would do. If you were a YouTuber and not just a watcher, because to you, if you're just watching, you don't have any feeling. Like you don't, you're removed from it. You're not in it, you know? Like, report some people who are bullying other people. Yeah, for sure I do. But I can understand other people not doing that. I mean, if you want to stay silent and just whatever, keep on with your life, that's on you. But I'm not like that, you know? Some of the strikes have gone through, but no, like maybe two or three Fufu Egger. That's the problem. So if you're saying, oh, YouTube would do something about it, I just proved to you that they don't do anything. And next stream, I'll have more receipts for you. I'll have my emails that I should have prepared for now, but I'm very impulsive. And when I heard that, I was like, I stopped everything I was doing. And I'm like, okay, that's it. I don't even know. I might have left the water running. I'm like, I'm going to go live right now because that's just how I am. <laughs> Jeez, people, Chantal gets talked about on a daily basis, being ridiculed, bullied, harassed. Everyone has a right to stand up and defend herself. Yeah. And you could say if I never address it, they would go away. That's not true. Look at Amberlynn. She hardly ever addresses any of her haters. And they still, she still has a community of, of weirdos who come after her every day for the most mundane, stupid things. Like, I don't get it. Like, whatever. So if that's the case, I may as well just def like defend myself and say what I have to say and prove it wrong. But nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about any proof about me being right. The, in their mind, I'm wrong. It doesn't matter how much proof I show. It doesn't matter. It gets twisted. Just like you saw with the, the uh, Kibla direction app. Like, <laughs> the fact that I even have to address that is so infuriating and ridiculous. Like, I'm not the problem here. I'm not the problem. <laughs> Gore World is a group of mentally ill and, and like, not just mental illness, but like, just... <sighs> disturbed people like in the worst way like i don't even know how to like i've never ever 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 experienced human beings so low so bored so vile so ridiculous and so low iq in my life you know and i'm sorry but it gets frustrating sometimes and yeah i'm gonna speak out on it sometimes and i'm definitely gonna point out if i if i have the proof i'm gonna show it yeah for sure but again this all started because you inserted yourself into something that had nothing to do with you you can't claim self-defense when this is all in response to something you started. If I, if, I, if I feel like it's something like this, sure. But if it's something like in my personal life, like my visa or my ID or my marriage license, I'm not going to show you people that, you vultures that. You don't deserve it. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. Just because I say I'm married online doesn't give, doesn't give you the right to my personal information and our marriage certificate. None of your business. You don't, I don't owe you anything. And even in this case, yo mama, I didn't owe him anything. 
I don't owe him anything. What right does he have to call me a liar with no proof? Just like he calls out the other reaction channels for that. He's full of it, just like them. You're right about ALR. If anything, I feel like their speculations, rumors get worse. It's sad. It's sad that th the irony of them picking apart this person and not realizing they're spending so much time on petty, stupid things. You know? Like... <laughs> Oh my gosh, like that one reactor that reacts to um, Anne Berlin. She's like, I'm so mad I could be doing something else. Why am I watching this get to the T? You don't have to be doing that. You could be enjoying your life and doing something else. You choose to do that. You choose to sit there and pick apart this younger younger woman's, um, obese woman's life for whatever reason. I don't know. It's just so weird to me. It's so weird. It, it's mind boggling. I feel like I'm living in the twilight zone. I've said that before. It's true. Chantal, you have talked so much shit about Amber. You called her out for using a scooter at Walmart because you said being fat wasn't a disability. You have said some really shitty things about Amber over the years. You're a massive hypocrite. Because I was watching that and I was like, that's just total BS. It's almost as if he has to just try to find something every once in a while just to keep people watching him, like people who don't like me because they're like, he doesn't want people to think that he's kissing my butt or he's, you know, sticking up for me, like, you know, white knighting for me or whatever. Like he actually cares what they think. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's what, that's the impression I get because this was so petty. You completely twisted what I said. You completely twisted the, the narrative. Um, Sam was the one herself bringing up her, her daughter, her adult daughter, not her kids. I didn't come for her kids. I, if I hear somebody say that, I swear. <laughs> like, we all know Chantal is on Twitter. She knows that her comment was being criticized by many people prior to Yo Mama's stream. This wasn't a Yo Mama-specific take. The fact that she can't wrap her head around the fact that someone can call out reaction channels and her at the same time and has to try to make excuses for why that could possibly happen is hilarious. That's, that's my point, though, is that YouTube does nothing about platform hate. They really just let it slide. You know, I don't know if they, they just don't get around to it yet, if they're, like, backlogged. Um, but I can show you my emails, go back along excuse me, a long time. And I've been, I have been reporting. So for people to say, Foodie Beauty doesn't report. She likes this drama. She likes this. Oh, sure. Yeah. I just love it. Like, stop telling me, you people need to stop telling me how I feel about something. You have no idea. You have no idea. Okay. You don't know. I think he does do that. I felt like he was saying this so he can be more credible by being critical of you sometimes. Exactly, Storm. You nailed it. Exactly. He wants to be more credible and not as seem as biased. So he picks on something like stupid like this every once in a while, you know? The only thing I will say is, yeah, I probably shouldn't even address these things, you know, or I shouldn't do that. But like, it's hard. It's hard. I'm not perfect. I am a very reactive person. And I think me reacting once in a while, I mean, I take a lot of crap online, probably more than anyone. Like, seriously, seriously, there's no one else on YouTube. Like, well, there's like maybe a few people, but like, seriously, especially over dumb, petty things, you know, like, I don't get it. Chantal really believes reaction channels are unique to her. Chantal, literally people in the doll community have reaction channels about them. You are not special. Definitely press charges on these raggedy O's. Yeah, there's some. I'm sorry, but it's not just hate. Because there are definitely some that could catch cases for sure. Definitely. Like I said, if 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 Hussey can win a case against DC over something that's not even nearly as bad, this was an on this was just an online little beef, you know, for like a period of time. This period of time for me has been years. And I've been attacked in worse ways. So luckily for me, I don't put myself worth into somebody like FFG. I mean, come on, look at her. Would you really be offended when somebody like this is calling you names? When you know her life? Like, your life has to be more pathetic when that's all your life is, is the minute you, you just, like, look how miserable. Like, somebody happy and doing well in life is not going to have a channel like this. It's not going to have an existence like this. You know, if you look at what she looked like when she first started her channel versus now, when we saw her at Shannon's, that hate has made her ugly on the inside and out. And that's just a fact, objective fact. That's objective. There's not one person who's going to disagree with that. Not one. Are you still looking into the NDA for that trash bag, Beast Boy? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing something, Beast Boy, but I can't really talk about it right now. But I'm working on something. Even YouTube, I'll show you guys the email next stream when I get it. When I come on, I'm going to show you on my other phone. They acknowledged her channel was hate. So I could technically sue the pants off of YouTube. I could definitely do it. I bet you. Because I could say, I've been coming to your creator support for years. And you acknowledge, your employee acknowledged that they looked at her channel and they said, yes, indeed, this channel's giving off hate. I'm so sorry about that. And they did nothing. They did nothing at all. They don't care. Chantal, please sue YouTube. I would absolutely love to see that. What Chantal fails to realize is the very same negligence in enforcing the terms of service that she's complaining about are what have allowed her to maintain her channel considering the constant and repeated terms of service violations she has committed over the years. You know? So you can't tell me that I didn't try to do anything. You're going to bite the hands that feeds you? How is it the hand that feeds me? Are you kidding me? When I first started YouTube, I didn't have all these channels and people still watched me. The people that they're not, it's not going to make a difference, Fufu Wager. Those people are, are, if those channels didn't exist, if they were really curious, they would have no, cha no choice but to watch my video. None. That's not true. Most of us get our recaps on Twitter anyway. Part of the fun of watching you is the reaction channels. 
Do you really think if everyone is forced to stop talking about you, they'd stick around? No, your channel would die. It's okay, it's fine. If you want, like, it's... I'm sorry, but I, fair use, a lot of these channels don't use my content in fair use whatsoever. There's nothing educational purpose. There's nothing, you know, um, that needs to be criticized in body shaming at all. Are you kidding? Yeah, lost, I, I'm good at arguing, trust me, trust me. And I have valid points. I'm not stupid like most people uh, in the gore world, I'm not. Who can't even figure out how technology works or how to use a camera. Ma'am, I cut it out, but it took you well over 10 minutes to figure out how to show your reporting history on screen. But if you really think our content isn't transformative, you wouldn't report that. You would do a copyright claim. But you know you'd lose that court case, so you just sit here and complain about something you do nothing about. Jim, Jim, most bookbangers who are overweight get hated for attitude or them neglecting. Attitude? What attitude? Like not liking people coming for you? Or, okay, not addressing your health issues, health diseases. How do you know the skinny bookbangers don't have diseases? Like, you know, just because you don't gain weight doesn't mean you can't get, just doesn't mean the food you're eating is healthy. And it's up to us. If we want to ignore our diseases or whatever, it's up to us. It's no one's life to live but your own, you know? We don't owe people anything. Oh, YouTube. Bite your hand that feeds you? Yeah, if I had to, I mean, sure. I don't know, there's other platforms and not just that. I would get a job before kneeling and, and, and kneeling down and accepting something, you know? I'm just saying, I'm not saying I'm going to sue YouTube. I'm sure I just don't even have the mental capacity to deal with that. Um, and they have a lot more money. <laughs> um, but it would definitely probably be a case. I'm not saying for sure I'm not a lawyer, but in my eyes, I think that would be... Um, I think that would be a case because in my opinion, I've reached out, they've acknowledged that it's hate and they do nothing. Chantal, the woman who claims she can't even cook more than maybe once or twice a week because she is in such poor mental and physical health, says she will get a job. LOL. Okay, Goral. Right, is they all know it's not right to use your content, but they just don't give a shit. But when the tables turn, they can't take it. Yeah, they block people too. They, they dirty delete too. I can't take the heat because they don't know how to val they don't have any way to val like argue back when it comes to down to the nitty gritty what comes down to what's really important they don't know how to defend themselves all they do is they know how to do is take sh ch uh, cheap shots look how she gets in and out of the the vehicle look how she gets out of the boat like you've never seen a fat person you look in the mirror every day don't you you know like anyway like that's i'm here talking about the issues i don't care about i'm not making fun i don't care about sam what her, sam's el adult daughter does like, I'm not going to hate on that. Like, some people called me a freaking prostitute in the past because of whatever they think I did for money, but it, that was more being generous, not, like, going out and hiring somebody working on the street. But I'm just saying, like, it happens. Like, I don't care about that. I'm just saying, you can't say, I'm going to attack Gaining Ground's mother with dementia just because you talked about my daughter being a prostitute when she's the one who brought it on the internet in the first place. Her daughter's an adult. An adult, not a child. I really should lay her off. I know. I should. And maybe I am. <laughs> I only brought up what her daughter does because of the fact that she brought it up in that in that moment i was using her words against her so if she doesn't want it brought up like why am i not allowed to talk about something that happened on the internet like why am i not allowed to talk about what she said like hello does chantal ever get tired of talking in circles because how many times is she going to repeat the same thing they do get criticized more for being overweight yes of course like like we know what we're doing is not healthy like um it's not the point like like i say always say nobody wants to be 400 pounds you know, but it's not just as easy as that. People act like, well, then change. Like, that's just such a lack of, that's such a, that's most, that shows so much ignorance in, in itself, that statement right there. It's not just change. It's do something. Anything. Stop making excuses and take accountability for your life. Everyone handles it differently. And that's why YouTube should be a res more responsible platform. People should be allowed to come on here and come to work. And you can say it's not a job. While making thousands of dollars a month and paying your bills is a job, whether you like it or not. Just because we're not sitting at a desk with a headset, okay? Actually, I am sitting with a headset right now. So entertaining people, talking to people, earning money, it's, it, you know, so people should be allowed to come to their jobs, should be allowed to come online. It's 2024. Everyone does something online. Um, you know, it's the internet and they should be allowed to be on a platform. We, you know, like YouTube, can't, we can't, we can't always control what happens, but like on other platforms, but like each platform should be responsible for that, should be responsible for enforcing their terms of service, you know, like, and they don't, they don't. And to say that I'm a liar because they would take these channels down, <laughs> just, you just proved my point even more, yo mama. I guarantee that YouTube would not stand beside a YouTube. Well, they do. They don't They don't care. They don't take these channels down. They look at uh, Swordfish. He still has a channel. How many times has he threatened violence on women? And he still has a channel. Like, they don't care. If he still has a channel, and yes, I've reported him too. Like, how many people have reported him? It. I, I use him for people who are like actually real men, male. So, I mean, you don't, you don't, it's just, they don't care. They don't care whatsoever. Like, it's not, it has nothing to do with me. It's, you know. I do my part and the rest, I just leave it up to God at this point. If YouTube cared, it would be a different platform, but they don't, it's all sad. Yeah, I know people think it would be boring, but like how, how sad, like if you just get all your entertainment from just listening to people get, you know, literally just like beat up every day. I don't know. You mean like how you listen to the same exact streams while allegedly doing housework? Chantal, the only thing you're proving in this stream is that you're a hypocrite. 
that's why I certain people I don't watch like I don't watch reactors like I don't know I sometimes I don't like when I was in original owls chat there was like literally I didn't have anything else to watch she's not she's not hateful like she doesn't just spew hate all the time I don't like people who are like hateful I can't stand listening to them and she doesn't have an annoying Patty and Selma voice so stage five emphysema voice so I, I you know like there's only certain people I can stand but I'm sorry I had to call out your mama on that BS because he's literally just sitting there acting all like get off your high horse buddy like seriously you completely twisted what I said um and you called me a liar with no proof so I just proved you wrong all right there you go and I, I'll have way more proof after that because I know people are going to say it's um photoshopped I know what they're I'm one step ahead they're so predictable <clears throat> I don't understand what their current issue is with there's no current issue the current issue is they pick apart how i pray how i worship sitting there most of them don't like where are you are you in church every sunday most of them are probably atheists because who worships god and, and has a channel like this who is god fearing and talks about other people like this on a daily basis no no chantal you said we're not allowed to speculate on others religion based on their behavior stop playing rules for thee but not for me He's basically getting mad at Gigi for saying her daughter's a prostitute you said that yourself sam you exposed all of your daughter's tea you treated your daughter horribly. You ignored your daughter so you can go have intimate relations with Yaba. You, that's all on the internet. And you say that people don't, you get mad when people react to it, but you can have a fatty podcast with your overweight significant other and make fun of the same overweight person over and over. I don't think so. You don't have a right to virtue signal. And you don't have a right, your mama, to come at me for talking about that when, like, you completely took that out of context. I didn't come for anyone's kids. Do you see where people twist things to try to make me look bad? And that's how it is. That's how it, that's how it starts. That's how people say, oh, you're disgusting. You always come for kids. No, 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 no. Sam is the one who outed her daughter's dirty laundry. Her adult daughter. Don't get it twisted. Like, the things, if you go back, I'm sure a lot of you don't know the history. You just tune in to listen to them give me crap. But if you knew the way they were for years, it's disgusting the things they've said and done. And nothing I've done or said has compared to anything they do. Like, they're just, you know, I don't know. They've, they've literally called CPS on people. They've made fun. They've made fun of kids. You want to say I'm coming for someone's kids? What about you, Sam? What about you coming for your own lover's kids? You came for Yabba's kids. You said they were unfortunate looking. The things you said and did to each other before becoming lovers is atrocious. And there's no way, there's no way I would ever forgive that. Like, I don't know. It's so weird. Do you really want to go tit for tat on who has forgiven their partner for what? Because Salah and Nader did some crazy shit, Goral, and you were ten toes down for your man. So yeah, I'm not loyal to any reaction channels. I just like here and there will listen to a stream. Like if I'm doing something, I don't know. I don't even know why. I started listening to some drama a long time ago before I was you know, before I reverted. And it's hard to just break those old habits of stopping to listen to everything. You know, you, you, you stay curious a little bit to how everyone's doing and what's going on. But to just listen, sit there and listen to someone just like beat on someone over and like I could never, I could never listen to, even if they weren't talking about me, I could never listen to one of Scam's live streams. There's no way. Uh, just the way she talks, she's so full of hate. It's so obvious. That's embarrassing. That's more embarrassing than any subject you talk about is how much hatred you have. Like that's, that's, that's going to kill you. I'm telling you, you can talk about me eating pizza all you want. At least I don't have seething hatred like this to, to talk about people like this on, on a regular basis. You know, the only time I ever, as I, I call it out, that's it. So that's it. If you're just joining or you didn't, you missed what I said, that's um, what I said. And I don't care if I have nobody standing on my side, if nobody believes in what I say, I don't care. I'll never follow a group of people just because they all want to be right and they don't want to be um, excluded. You know, they, they all just want to be like, sheet mentality you know if i see something that you know i'll definitely call it out oh well if i take backlash i take backlash like that famous saying goes if you don't want to ever be criticized then do and say nothing that's basically your only options go hide away go hide away in a corner and do and say nothing and, and you'll never be criticized the woman who has shared her entire life online for the last decade is crying about being criticized and reporting channels for criticizing her is telling people that if they don't want to be criticized they need to shut up like is self-awareness even on the same continent at this point? Didn't you talk about Dee Dee's elderly mom and blah, 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 Okay, like, did I make fun of her? No. When? Never. I know, they always speak about my family, whatever. And the hatred I had for Dee Dee, like, they were mentally abusing me for a long time, and I got really hammered, and I said some stuff. I don't remember what I said about her mom, but it's not the same whatsoever. And that was, like, two years ago. See? Nobody has anything current. If anyone has anything current to attack me on, what did I say then, Rai? What did I say? I made fun of her mom? And said she's a pickle brain and she can't control herself and blah, blah, blah. What did I say? What? What did I say? I want to know. So anything current, right? Come in here with anything current. How about that? How about that? Did I make a stream for two hours talking about her mom? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'd like to present your words for how you felt about people telling you not to bring someone's sick elderly mother into your personal fight with DD. Leave her mom out of it. That's not okay. I don't give a fuck about her mom, crazy beautiful. I really don't. I don't give a fuck about her mom. Honestly, to me, they're, her mom and her are equal. I don't give a fuck about them both. Oh, did someone block them? I want to know what I said. I wanna, I'm want i waiting. Like, why? Is there anything current that I said about anybody? Because 
I have changed as a person. I don't come, I don't like, I don't even drink anymore. So what I said when I was really hammered, sure, like getting that hammered is doesn't, it doesn't excuse, but it sort of does. Like, honestly, like if you have something recent that I've done disgusting to someone else, sure, go for it. If you have something recent and don't bring up Allah's wife because they've done disgusting things to me first and I was lashing out and I was super angry, super angry. They had no reason to do that. So whatever. And I already apologized for that. Did Sam apologize for anything she said about Gigi's mom? No, no, not so ever, whatsoever. You can't demand that people tell you what horrible things you've done recently and then immediately realize something they will bring up and say not that one because you were just defending yourself. You said some absolutely disgusting things about his wife, but I'll humor you. Two weeks ago, Milk Tea commented on the theory that you participated in Sub 4 Sub. She didn't talk about your looks, your body, anything. You immediately made fun of her wig, a woman with alopecia. Since you've been in Kuwait, you, as a Muslim, told people God hates them. You heavily mod your chat, and any negative comment about yourself or Salah is immediately deleted. But one month ago today, you allowed someone's full docs to sit in your chat. It was never deleted. Do we need to bring up that you have repeatedly doubled down on the use of the word goblin in reference to a Jewish woman after being told many times it was anti-Semitic? You called Yaba a hillbilly white trash piece of shit eight months ago. You also called Gary and Yaba inbred. You called them the R slur. I could go on about this forever. I'm trying to limit how long this video is, but if Chantal would like to truly challenge me on the validity of any of these accusations, I have the clips to back them up, and I'm happy to make a compilation. So I went to Cuba in 2021. Actually, I went around April 1st. I was there April 1st. So that's literally three years ago. I'm talking about actions of people in the present. You don't think that I've changed? I haven't had any alcohol in years. I you haven't had alcohol because it's illegal in Kuwait. Shut the fuck up. I would never go that low ever again. Like, never. Sorry, there's no way. There's no way I'm that, I'm not that person. If you go back and watch Cuba compared to now, you're crazy. If you think that I'm the same person, that's fine. You can think what you want. Yeah, I still have a tongue and I still have a voice. And I'm not just like going to sit there and sit pretty with certain subjects. Oh, well, you can think I'm a bad person if you want. You can think I'm a bad Muslim. That's between me and Allah. That's not for you to judge, especially people who are vile and sitting on their high horse and are worse, worse sinners. You can just can it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what you think. I'm going to say what I want. You can, like I said, think I'm not, I'm a, I'm a bad Muslim. I don't care. That's not for you to judge. That's not for you to judge. I, like Tupac said it best. Only God, only God can judge me. That's the truth. I know this bitch didn't just quote Tupac. But yes, I, I know what you mean, Ahmed. Like, there's no people here like this. There's no people who have hate channels in Kuwait who just hate on other people all day. It's uh, number one, the government protects people from that. It's illegal, you know? And uh, instead of retaliating against Allah and, and his wife, I should have just shut my mouth and gone to the authorities because he would be in trouble for that. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. And yes, I fully admit, I have trouble controlling my mouth a lot, a lot. Chantal, you are a hateful bitch that routinely rages, calls people names, makes fun of their bodies, and everything else you do every time you can't get a hubcap of rice. You are doing exactly what you claim is illegal in Kuwait. Some of us feel something bad going to happen to you if you keep eating the way you do. Well, Angela, that's up to God also. Like, that's who, nobody knows, you know? Like, you guys can be concerned all you want, but at the end of the day, it's my life and I'm the only one in control of it. So people can be concerned, but it doesn't mean that people's concern is going to... Um, help me in any way you know like I appreciate concern but at the, like at the same time regarding my weight no I don't really <laughs> like you know like let me just live my life if that's you know it, it's not going to change anything people coming at me if anything it just makes it worse it just makes it worse I would never tell you how to eat and run your life here yeah you wouldn't do that to people in real life like oh should you be eating that extra piece like excuse me anyway <laughs> like yeah I'll do what I want you know I'll deal with it in my time and how I deal with it and if I don't, that's also my choice. That's also my life, you know? Imagine being a Beezer that sits there day in and day out supporting Chantal, and she basically tells you to fuck off because you care about her. They're acting like they know more about Islam than me. Like, I, I can't know anything. I'm not doing anything right. Because they think it's cosplay. That is so disgusting to accuse somebody of, in, in general. Like, you don't know anything, you know? <laughs> like, because they, at the very beginning, they're like, oh, she's just faking. And it's still, what, two years later now? And I'm still a Muslim? And I will be? And if someday, for some reason, I don't know, I'm not, like, that's my, that's up to me. How does that make me a bad person doing things, living my life my way, making choices for my life? It's my life. Like, you know, I have that right. You don't have the right to tell me what to do with it, though. That's not up to you. If you're, if you're so much better, look how you're living your life. You're a complete failure. Somebody like FFG, a complete failure, having a channel like she has. Look at her, look at her YouTube legacy. Ew. No thanks.
Chantal, your YouTube legacy is a morbidly obese woman who rose to infamy by eating massive quantities of food while farting. Also, you're only still wearing the hijab because you're still with Salah. You know this, which is why you make sure to say that you're not a bad person if one day you decide not to be Muslim anymore. It doesn't make you a bad person. It makes you a fraud. So, but yeah, there's literally no drama. There's no tea with my channel. Like, I'm just doing vlogs and mukbangs. I mean, how many times are you going to beat the dead horse and say that what I'm eating is too much? It's too unhealthy, blah, blah, blah. You don't know what I'm eating the rest of the day. You're just speculating out of ignorance. Well, you're, you're binge eating. And why, why is binge eating anyway used as a freaking insult? How ableist and disgusting is that? That just shows you that people, again, out of pure ignorance, like, again, need I remind certain reactors that you didn't get to be your size from eating quinoa salads every day, all right, and not overeating. So please look at yourselves before you come for me and my mukbangs. You don't know. You don't know what I'm eating the rest of the day. It's none of your business anyways. But like, why is binge eating? Oh, she binged. It's a big deal. Why does that warrant a video from an adult woman <laughs> picking on another person for having binge eating disorder? Seriously, when, since when? If that was any other illness, it would not be made fun of like that. It wouldn't be acceptable. But because it's binge eating, you know? People are just disgusting. I'm, I'm over it. Like, it doesn't matter what I eat. If I eat anything that's not literally, like, if I, okay, this is how stupid some, this is how the mentality of some people, they're so, they're so against me eating. Let's say I had a baked potato, okay? And, which is a whole food from the ground and full of fiber and vitamins, okay? Yeah, it has carbs. They don't, they can't differentiate between good carbs and bad carbs. So let's say I had a baked potato and a piece of chicken and some broccoli. They would pick me apart. Well, that's good, but don't eat the baked potato. Um, but if I came with a plate of, uh, like, a, a big steak with just butter on it, with bacon they would be like that's so good yeah i lost a lot of weight doing this yeah that's cool like what you know what i mean like i don't know everyone just thinks they're an expert in in nutrition it's just like i don't know people are just too preachy in general i guess this is giving she doesn't know nutrition like i do chantal even though a potato is considered a complex healthy carb your body digests these carbs faster than other kinds of complex carbs these broken down carbs flood your blood with sugar you are a diabetic. That's why people comment on you eating so many carbs. But more than that, it's the quantity you eat. If you sat down for a mukbang with a chicken breast, potato, and broccoli, I'd do exactly what I've done before and say I'm not mad at this meal, but 9.9 .9 times out of 10, you're going to sit down with the equivalent of four or five potatoes or five cups of rice and bread or whatever carb you chose that day in excess. I, I hate that too when people say, oh, just because you're like, look at your size and your health. Um, I'm pretty sure we're not going to take health advice from you. It doesn't mean that fat people are stupid. That's not the reason that they have trouble losing weight. It's not about ignorance or stupidity. Like they're so, people are so ignorant when it comes to overweight people. And it's just like, it shows you if you look around Gore World, if you look around, you know, and it's like, you know, an eating disorder is not because you're stupid. Like anyway, <laughs> yes, it's just, that's what I'm trying to do. Life of moderation. But like when it comes to like eating disorders and stuff like that, that's just really hard. I don't know. And people always like to judge me, like, well, you should get help. I did go to an eating disorder clinic. They did nothing. They put me on Vyvanse. I've gone over this a million times. Like, what else am I supposed to do? Like, I asked for inpatient care. They, they, they literally said, well, you can apply. They gave me a form and they asked me questions like, what are your potassium levels? Are they extremely low? It was tailored towards people who had anorexia, not people who have binge eating disorder. I feel like binge eating disorder is still very new, like, as a concern, you know, because people still just stigmatize it. They still just accuse people of having eating disorders as an excuse for overeating. They think we're just lazy, fat, and overeat. And it's like you know so why do I want to like I just don't want to deal with it like I don't know I just feel like I'm like discriminated against in a lot of ways when I try to get help like that I feel like some doctors don't even fully understand it and therapy like I don't know how many times am I gonna have to cry over my past like I just don't want to you know like I just can't stand it I just want to move on I don't know there is more help out there than the one clinic you went to I would also assume if you ever stuck to therapy past the initial couple of visits, you would eventually move past talking about your childhood and start working on maintenance and what you can do moving forward. Your mental health is your responsibility. Part of that responsibility is trying different things until you find what works for you, whether that be a clinic, program, or doctor. But like usual, you try one thing and then give up and blame everyone else for your inability to put in the hard work to get better. They should, they should better focus on their own spiritual inst journey instead of Googling mine. Exactly. Exactly. Like this that are not even Muslim. Not even Muslim. And Muslim people who judge other Muslims like this make people reverts not want to even be part of it, the community, because it's like you get judged and you, you're forgetting that judging and backbiting and gossip, it's all haram as well. It's all frowned upon. We all sin. The difference is it's between you and Allah. It's not up to someone else on the internet to judge you for those things. Get off your high horses. Anyways, guys, uh, so I'm going to... Uh, get off of here 
and um, go pray <laughs> and repent for this dream. I'm not Muslim. I do not know the teachings of Islam. But I'm pretty sure a basic principle of any religion is that you don't just do whatever you want, ask for forgiveness, and then continue doing the same behavior every other day. Anyway, this video is entirely too long. Chantal is a hypocrite, and I hope she stubs her toe. See you later, little gherkins. Pathetic. She's so fat, she's so gross, she will never find love. Pathetic. The only one who can love this woman is a good lord up above.